And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Proa, which was a request from Crow via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. Proa was a basal iguanodont that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now Teruel Province, Spain, in the Escucha Formation. It looks like other iguanodonts. It had the long tail, the bulky body, it could walk on all fours. It also had a relatively large head, and it was pretty stocky. It's estimated to be 23 to 26 feet, or 7 to 8 meters long. The type and only species is Proa valderinoensis. It was described in 2012 by Andrew McDonald and others, and the genus name Proa means prow and refers to the pointed shape of the predentary bone, the lower jaw, that looks like the bow on a boat. The prow of a boat? Yeah. So it's sort of, that reminds me of like a trireme or one of those boats that has that bulging bottom, <laughs> like sort of underneath the water or just above the water, or just a very prominent chin, mm. I suppose. The species name Valdearinoensis refers to Valdearino, the traditional name for the coal mines near where the fossils were found. At least six individuals have been found, including a partial skeleton and nearly complete skull. There are five specimens that were described in the paper about it. More than 340 bones were found. Originally, Proa was reported in 2005 as fragmentary remains from an indeterminate basal iguanodont. It's a sister taxon to Batyrosaurus. The unique features of Proa include the that predentary coming to a point at the rostral margin, the tip and the lower jaw there. And it helps fill a gap in the fossil record of basal European iguanodonts. Three brain cases have also been found. Two of them are well preserved. Those brain cases have been CT scanned. And it was found that the encephalization quotient, the EQ, was about 3.6, which is pretty high. As an estimate for basically how smart it was in a way. Mm -hmm. Basically the size of the brain compared to the size of the animal. Yeah, and that helps show that there was a higher EQ for a short time in some ornithopods. It wasn't just in theropods. So it's been hypothesized that this higher EQ may have led to them living in groups and caring for their young. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Proa lived in a swampy environment with conifers, ferns, and flower plants. More than 11,000 fossils have been found in the area where Proa was found since 2010. Wow. Yeah. There's also been fossils found in amber in that area, often of insects, but also mammal hair and a fragment of a dinosaur feather. And recently it's been found some blood-sucking mosquitoes and dinosaur fossils together, which means mosquitoes may have bit the dinosaurs. Oh, man. That is very Jurassic Parky. I Yeah, it was just it doesn't mean we can do Jurassic Park stuff here. But yeah, the DNA won't have survived, but that's still cool. Yeah. Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place as Proa include the Notosaurid, Europelta, Allosauroids, Iguanodontids, and Titanosauriforms. And other animals include fish, turtles, crocodiles, mammals, and insects. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.